former Brexit party leader, now GB News host Nigel Farage, has reported he's been locked out of his own bank account. Have a look at this. Two months ago, I get a phone call out of the blue from a personal manager who simply says on a phone call, we are closing your accounts. I asked why. No reason was given. I was told it would all be explained in a letter that would arrive in a couple of days' time. So I've tried for two months to get another bank account, and I've spoken to seven different banks, and they've all said no. And the reason is it would seem to be political. Joining me now is GB News host Patrick Christie's. Patrick, what is this all about? How can you just have your bank account closed on you for so-called commercial reasons? Well, this is it. We all know it's not really commercial reasons, don't we? And this is very mm. sinister. This is the kind of thing that you would see in communist China under a social credit system. But we are seeing it right now here on the streets of Britain. There could be a couple of reasons overtly politically behind this. One MP, who I won't do the favour of naming on this because I'd rather that they didn't exist, frankly, used parliamentary privilege in our House of Commons to essentially slander and defame Nigel by saying that he accepted a load of Russian mm. money, which is completely untrue. But that now oh. stands on the record. That guy's not that guy's not going to change the record. So it's out there, OK? Nigel's come out against it, but that's it. There is also an EU law about politically exposed people, which puts their bank accounts under more scrutiny. Mm. But get this, that can count for anyone from a prime minister to somebody who's just running to be a member of a local parish council. If you are in, it probably would account for you and me as well. I mean, we talk about politics every day, don't we? So we could be a politically exposed person. Mm -hmm. That can draw you into more scrutiny uh, as well. But we're also seeing it, and this is why this story is gathering so much traction, with Christian groups who are gender critical. They're having their assets frozen. They're told that they can't have bank accounts anymore. And when you really look at it as well, if you debunk now in this country, i.e. you debunk the conventional norms and wisdom, you get debanked. And this is a very, very sinister development. Oh, sinister indeed. It's Orwellian. It seems to be some sort of a social credit system we've just uh, embraced here. Uh, you work with Nigel. He must be feeling terribly about this. Uh, I think he said there in, in that report that he's gone to seven other banks and he can't open an account at any of them. Uh, this seems astonishing that this could happen in a free country. Yeah, and they trap you in this vortex of bureaucracy and process. So they say to him, well, look, we, you can submit a subject access request. Well, that takes around 100 or so days. Bearing in mind that he's already just been trying to fight this through the conventional methods for a couple of months, he will have run out of time by the time that he gets all the necessary information from the banks about all the conversations they've had about him behind the scenes, which will expose the true reasons behind all of this. But that will be too late for Nigel. Mm -hmm. And what this really means is if you don't have a bank account, as everybody knows, I mean, you can't really function, especially with this push towards a cashless society. If Nigel wanted to go and get another mortgage somewhere or just wanted to do anything, frankly, then he wouldn't really be able to do it. They were trying to make him a non person. But I really do think there is more to this than meets the eye. I think they don't want him to just become a non-person. What they really want is for Nigel Farage to leave the country and have to go and try and set up in America or Australia or somewhere else. They just want him out of Britain. And if this is happening to Nigel, OK, who's got a platform and is a very good speaker and who can come out and create some kind of snowball effect behind this, that's one thing. But this could happen to the little guy. This could happen to anybody, and it is wrong. And I wonder whether it has anything to do with Nigel uh, talking about perhaps starting another political party with the Tories becoming, uh, oh, well, the, the versions of Labor with their climate alarmism and net zero madness. Uh, he's talked about having a genuine conservative alternative at the coming election, and then this happens. Something to think about, yeah. Patrick Christie's. Thank you so much uh, for joining me tonight. I do appreciate it.